All right, okay, so good morning, YouTube. Um, basically, what I'm doing is um, I'm making a quick install video of how I install my UPART wig. Um, today, I am installing my second UPART wig that I made with my hair conversion um, from hairextensionairs.com. Um, I'm basically going to do a quick video to show you guys how I install my UPART wigs. I don't know if you guys remember, but I made two. Um, one with the 26 inch and the 18 and the and some 16. And then this one here was my 18 and my 16. And this is the one that I said that I'm going to wear curly. So I'm basically just going to wear it in this texture, which is the natural wave pattern of this hair. Of, of course, right? It's beautiful. I know it's crazy, but it's just been a long couple of days. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I install and what I've done so far. Okay, so this here is my lead out. As you can see, it's braided and I have my little sides here. You can see... I have my braid, my perimeter braid along the side there. See that? Okay, so basically I just, when I took my little wig off, my hair was not dirty, my scalp wasn't dry or anything like that, so I did not redo my braid pattern. And all I did was really just recondition my scalp with, um, I used the coconut oil hair conditioner by Blue Magic, and then I put a little bit of my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner on my scalp. So I put these two items on my scalp before I went to braid so that it doesn't get so, you know, so that it doesn't get dry for the next week until I take it down again. Um, so basically what I've done so far with my um, install is I sew down the top here, which is the first thing that I do. I sew down the top and I sew it to about right here. And then I cut the thread, and then I go to the back. And then I pull the back down, as you can see. Sorry if I have pinched on, but I pull the back down and I sew the back down to my head because I don't like to try to go around. And then I gotta try to figure out where the back meets my head and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot. It's just a lot simpler to do the top, then do the back, and then just sew down your side. So then you know anything that you need to pull or stretch, you can do. If you don't need to pull or stretch, less tension or whatever. So that's how I do it. So basically, I'm just gonna start here and sew down this side part so that you guys can see that and show you how I cut and do the same thing to the other side and that's going to be it so stay tuned here we go do, 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 do. let me make sure you guys can see me all right so i basically just pull my cap down to make sure and i like to just pull it down and hold it but right now i really don't need to because my cap and basically i go in through the bottom of my cap the bottom, bottom, the brim where I cut it off at, and and then as soon as I go underneath the braid, I come right out of it, and then I do a slip knot on the end of every one of my stitches. So I just continue to do that all the way up and around through the bottom, pull it down over the braid, I go through the bottom. And I'm not really concerned with the fact of that I may, when I come from under the braid, that I may end up, that I may, I'm not really concerned with the fact that I may end up um, going through a track or going through, like, I really don't care about that because as long as it's under the braid, I know that it's going to be secure. The one thing that you do have to be careful of, though, is that you may get some hair caught inside the stitch. So if you do, just pull it out the stitch and then move on to the next stitch. But I go right here through the bottom of the cap, as you can see, and I go right up under the braid, and then make sure that I'm all the way under the braid. I want to go under the complete braid, and then I come out like that. And then I take it, I twist it in my fingers, and I go up and I grab the needle, and I pull it out. And that is basically how I do this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And this is actually a pretty secure way. And then when you go to take off your U part wig, it's not really that difficult because you just cut one thread and then it kind of all just unravels and all comes out with the pull of a string. So I actually do like this method. Even with the little slip knot, gives you no problem taking it out and whatnot. So this is a pretty quick way of installing. When I had installed my first U part wig, I mean, I did a lot of crazy, intricate stuff. I was tying knots, and I now realize, as, as I said, after installing and uninstalling my first two weeks, 
that all that was just kind of unnecessary, honey. So, I sensitized my install technique. Oh, it's tangled on my ring. Okay. So, basically, that's just it. As you can see, I'm pretty much done with this side. Then my install this is going to be like my last stitch right here. And again, you want to make sure that you get under the braid at all times. And completely under the braid. I don't like to go through the braid or anything of that nature. I want to go under the braid, so to speak, to wrap the thread around. To me, that's like the most secure. And then I just knot it like such. I'll do a double knot right there because that's where I left off. Like that. Bam. And then I just take my scissors wherever they might be. Where my scissors go? Okay, I'm going to have to find another pair of scissors because I just have them. Alright, so I got some scissors. Sorry. Alright, so that's done. So that's basically that. And that's on down. So I take my clip out that I had clipped my hair to the side with, one of these. And that's done. See? See, all done. And I'm just going to take the side, like such. It's the same thing. Put the hair up, like that. And do the same thing on this side. Just pull it down. Pull it down, thread it through. And come out. And when you start, I like to take my thread. I put the needle in and I take the thread like this and then I separate it like this. Separate it. And then I grab the needle and I pull it through. That's the way of creating a new slip knot for me. So same thing, pull down and stitch through. And actually, this has not been taking me too long to do, so I don't really mind taking my hair down. Like, I kind of used to dread it, but at this point, I really don't dread it because it really doesn't take me too long to get it down, rebraid my perimeter braid, and then reinstall with this technique of slip knotting and what knotting. You know what I mean? Slip knot, sew it through, bring it out. It doesn't take me too long to install. So the fact that I now have two wigs to go back and forth through, it's not going to be an issue because this, what's the matter, baby? Huh? What's wrong? Try to keep get a toy or something out. What's the matter? Oh, your foot's stuck in the car. Kid, I don't know why this little girl thinks that she can. She has like a little Barbie car. And she thinks she can get in the Barbie car. So she tries to put her feet and stuff down there. Then it gets stuck. I was like, kids, man. <laughs> so I'm almost done, basically. And as you can see, I did leave my perimeter out because naturally, my ends and edges are thin. Like, they've never been thick because I do somewhat have thinner hair. Like, my hair is very thin, but thick in the middle. But thicker in the middle. So, my edges have always been thin. And I just kind of figure, you know, putting too much putting tension on it as far as... Okay, so this is my last stitch. Putting tension on it as far as, see that? 
So I'm down and I'm just going to knot it. I put the tensions on my edges, which are already thin. If they get any thinner, I'm going to pretty much be bald because they already look like I'm low key bald with them being as thin as they are. So, we're not going to do that. So, I just left them out. And as far as blending, we're going to see. So, boom. I am now done installing my u rig. That is such a huge gap right there. I don't know how I feel about that gap right there. Look at that. Like, I'm probably going to have to sew a track there because that is just, like, ridiculous. So... There's not one like that on this side, so I don't know. That was just probably a bad construction area error on the, the mannequin head, but I'm gonna have to put something right there because it seems to go around quite a ways. So I'm gonna get something right there. So that's how I basically install my U part wig. So I'll see you guys later, and I'll show you it all the way around. If you can see. All around the back. So I'll be back later with my next tutorial and update. Alright, bye bye guys.